this tutorial is to review the test screen operation. Once the test screen is entered from the start screen, the device is ready to begin the hearing screening. The name entered or selected from the start screen is listed in the top right corner. When quick start is selected from the start screen, unknown is displayed. The protocol selection is made with the drop-down. The selection can be made up until the first response is stored. The back arrow will return to the previous screen. When results are stored, a confirmation box confirms abort screening and all results are deleted. The middle section of the screen displays the frequencies and the screening levels as defined by the protocol and will display results as the screening progresses. The active frequency is highlighted by the blue box but can be changed by tapping on a different frequency. The ear selection displays the right ear as the active ear upon entry into the test screen and indicated by the red shading. The left ear displays blue shading when active and can be selected by touching the box. The noise level is monitoring the room noise and displays results captured. The red bar displaying when any one frequency is outside the acceptable levels. The screening can continue regardless of the noise level, but allows the screener to monitor the room environment and halt the screening or attempt to quiet room activity. The room noise is based on the standards selected in the settings. The response is an indicator for when the optional patient response accessory is used by the subject. When the button is pushed, this lights up to inform the screener that the tone was heard. Conditioning allows presentation of tones at elevated levels. The arrows change the level, which are displayed in the circle. Press the conditioning button to present the tone. The frequency box turns green with tone presentation. The conditioning level will present up to 100 dB. This level is reserved for those conditioning situations when the headphones are not on the subject's ears. Specifically, when conditioning younger children or subjects in a small group where more guided instruction is required. Once this level is selected, a warning will display for the screener to confirm. Conditioning can be used at any time during the screening, but can only be used for frequencies that do not have a final result. The blue speaker will present the screening level as defined by the protocol. When the presentation is occurring, a single result box is highlighted green to indicate tone presentation to the subject. Response buttons available are a green check mark to indicate heard an orange X when not heard. These buttons are inactive for selection until a tone is presented. Upon scoring a response, a result is placed in the box next to the frequency. An overall frequency result is placed in the last column once the protocol criteria has been met. The easy tone will guide the screener through the frequency and ear selection. This means once the criteria has been met for the individual frequency, the easy tone will automatically move to the next frequency. Also, when one ear is completed, the easy tone will automatically move to the next ear. When all frequencies and ears have a result, the screening is complete. The easy tone will move to the result screen for review and management. Stop test allows selection of a screening result before all frequencies or ears are complete. Once selected, a pop-up box is displayed to provide a reason. Refer or could not test are available for selection. Once the selection is made, the easy tone continues to the result screen. This completes the tutorial on the test screen operation. Please continue through the tutorial series for additional easy tone instruction.